In this video, I'm just going to take a quick look at the word search feature of the puzzle generator. Now, this folder here is what the zip file that you downloaded from Gumroad will look like when you extract it. The first tool that we want to pay attention to is the export tool, the Excel file here. So if we double click on that, and wait for that to open. And then first of all, down the bottom, click on the config tag. Now here are terms that are used throughout all the puzzles in the puzzle generator, including the word search. So if you want to either change them or translate them, you can fill in the rows here. On this side, which is particularly important for the word search generator, are the letters that it uses to randomly fill the gaps after it places your words. So you can again, you can change this to your own native um, alphabet, or you can change it to things like numbers, if you want a numbers word search. With the consonants and vowels, what it means is the letters that you put under vowels will appear more frequently and the consonants less so. So if we go down the bottom and then we click on word search, now here I have five word search titles, animals one, two, three, four, five, and I have 50 different words. So that means when I go into the word search generator, I'll be choosing 10 words per puzzle. Now it's important when you put your words and your word search titles into the export tool to know exactly how many words that you want per puzzle so you can set up the right amount of titles. You can choose 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 or 30 words per puzzle. Just make sure you have your correct amount here. So if I had, if I wanted 5 puzzles and I wanted 20 words per puzzle, I would then need to fill this with 100 words and so on and so forth. Now once you've done this, we're going to click on the main tab here and then we're just going to click submit to export it. And as we can see, it's been exported successfully. So now we're going to go into PowerPoint. Now you need a completely blank slide to start. So if you've got any placeholders on, just delete them off. And then we're going to go into add-ins and let's do this at a Let's do a nice big one, 8.27 by 11.69. Now you want to click the Word Search Generator button on the toolbar. Now, the first option you have is the Color Picker tool. So you can choose the letters in the grid, what color you want them to be. It's more likely that you want them to be black or gray, so you can normally leave this as a default setting. The next option, if you choose solutions to show as words being circled, you can select the color here. So click circling words color. And because we're gonna do, it's gonna stay in black and white, let's choose a gray here. Close that. Now the good letter font features, you can choose the font that you want in your word search. any one that you want and also the size. Now the size, it will do its best to fit the size that you choose. However, if the puzzle ends up being too big for the page, the size will shrink down. So do check that if that's important to you. So let's, let's stick with the default. And then you can choose bold or italics. Now here, is our titles at the top, so you know animals one, animals two, three, four, five, etc. Choose a size for that. Here is the size of our uh, our word list underneath words defined. Now again, similarly similar to the good letter font features, uh, this will do the program will do its best to fit your chosen size in. But again, if it ends up being too large for the page, 
it will shrink that down so again do check that if that is essential for you now the next option we have are the rows numbers and the columns numbers now you want to make sure that at a minimum the rows or the columns is at least the length and characters of your longest word otherwise it will throw an error and it won't work properly now what I normally do I normally add on a quarter of the column numbers onto here when I'm on the on the, uh, the dimensions like this so let's just go for 18 and again as I mentioned earlier I want 10 words per puzzle now of the tries by word I would just set this to the highest if you're making a lot of word searches um, it can make the process a little bit longer but then you will get the prompt that it couldn't fit your words in sometimes what this does is that it will try a thousand times to fit in each word before it lets you know that it couldn't fit it in so if you're not in a rush I just recommend just setting that and leaving that as the highest every single time. Now the next option we're going to look at is the word directions. So if you're doing say word search for kids or, or seniors or you know you may want to take off some of the more difficult directions so you might want to take off ones going backwards or you might want to take off some of the diagonals to make the word searches a little bit easier. I'm just going to leave that for default here. Now, the next option here we have is show grid lines. So that is literally the grids in the word search. Now, if I just show you that here now, leave everything else the same. Show the grid lines. That's the grid lines here. And the other option which we'll go back to in just a second is to just have the outline of the word search so click OK as you can see it's just done the word search let's just undo that quickly I'm going to go back in so if I click just show outlines then you will get the outlines Let's wait for that to complete. And then as you can see now, we've just got the outlines of the table. So we're going to undo that once more. Let me go back in again. my circle colors back to gray so the solution grids is how you want to display your solutions now as I've selected gray again uh, for the circling words I'm going to do that one just to show you first so this will circle the words in the word search traditionally as, as you might as you might know it yourself so I'll just choose that to show you and I'll click OK Now if we just go down quickly to our solutions, you can see that they're, they're circled. If we undo that quickly, go back into the word search. The other options you have are show right cells. Now all that does is take all the letter, all the other letters out and leave you with just the answers. All the other cells will blank. I'll just show you in a second. You see, you scroll down to see. As you can see, we've just got the answers there. All the other cells are completely blank. We're going to undo that once more. 
go back into the word search generator. And the third option you have there is highlight the right cells. So all that does is just put some shading into the cells that contain your words. So just show you that again in just a second. Go down to our solutions. So as you can see, the answers are just shaded in in blocks. So we can undo that once more and go back in again. Search in words. Now the next option we're going to look at is our word list options. So we're going to go in here, and here you can choose how you want to display your answers, your, sorry, your words to find in the word search. Now default is a table, which as you saw, as you saw listed there, you can set the alignment of this table. So if you want the, if you want the words to find to be left aligned, centered or to the right, I tend to go for centered. And then you can choose the order of these words. If you want the words to find to go down and then across to the next column, or if you want them to go across the columns and then down the row. And then here we can change the font case so we can keep the default um, font case in or we can force the words to find to be all in uppercase or to be all in lowercase. And the final option here is how many columns to display the words to find in. Now the standard is four, but if you have long words or if you only have a few words, you might like to put a smaller amount of columns in because it looks it looks nicer. So if we can force that to two columns only and if we just show that wait for that to do Let's see, as you can see, whereas before it was spread out over four columns, it's now just in two columns. It's nice and neat, five in each column. We undo that once more. And if we go back into there, I just want to show you the other option. It's in the table. So the standard, in case, in case that you can't remember what the standard offering looks like. See, it looks odd with the uh, with the ten there. Let's wait for that to complete. And then once again, we go back in here, and then you have the three columns as well. Just show you that. Now again, where these come in handy is, like I said before, if you have longer words or if the word count means it looks a little bit odd if you just got one odd word on the side or something like that. So we undo that once more. We've got an alternative way to, to um, show the words to find as well which in here is, is you separate them by commas. And all that does is just puts a list across underneath. So if I just show you that one quickly. As you can see, it just listed, just lists the words defined across separated by commas. Again, this can be useful when you've got really long words well. Now the final uh, feature I want to show you in this in this quick start video is the add margins. By default this is ticked and you will want this ticked because obviously when you upload to KDP 
you don't want the word searches going all the way to the edge you want a nice margin either side so by default this is at 0 0.375 I tend to up this to three quarters of an inch and then once you've done that I'm just going to um, change the settings again how I would do them let's make that a little bit bigger let's change that to two columns and then let's increase the size of that hopefully and the size of that so on this one I've just changed the ignore the other settings I've done I've just to show you how word search might turn out the important one here is the margin size which I've increased to 0.75 so three quarters of an inch and once you've done that just click OK wait for the load So as you can see now, you now have a larger margin than before. What you might find is sometimes it goes a little bit too close to the bottom. So it, just take, it does take a little bit of practice sometimes to get the right settings for you. But I hope this little quick start video helps you start creating your word searches.